Tyler Costin here, Director of Player Development for PGC Basketball. It's time to learn how to move them and make them pay. At our Playmaker College course, you learn how to move them. You learn how to score at any time and any place. We're gonna give you the Kobe step. Kobe Bryant excelled at his ability to score against any sort of defense. We're gonna give you one of his tools. The key to a move them is knowing that you won't be a quicker or more athletic or longer defender until that defender's been moved. One of the quickest and easiest ways to move a defender isn't necessarily with a jab step, it's with what we call a Kobe step. The reason we call this a Kobe step is because Kobe Bryant was prolific in his use of it. Here is exactly what it is. As a right-handed player, I'm gonna use a left foot as my permanent pivot foot. Why are we using a permanent pivot foot? Because Michael Jordan did it. Why did Kobe Bryant do it? Because Michael Jordan did it. Why should you do it? Because Michael Jordan did it. So as I'm working with Key here, she's in a stance right now. I'm not gonna be able to beat her until I move her. Instead of using a jab step, what Kobe actually did is he just used a front pivot cross step here. Now you notice immediately it caused Marquis to move. If we come back to this square stance here, if Marquis didn't move, if I go to my little Kobe step, ball protected, back to defender, chin to shoulder, eyes to rim, if she doesn't move, she's giving me a straight line attack right to get to her hip to go right to the rim. Every defender's gonna move. And just by getting them to move, you've made them dynamic. And now as you go to your rip back here, you've created a straight line drive to your strong hand off a classic blast step. It's just with a Kobe step. Now a couple of keys to this first Kobe step here. As we do this, we slow down. Fake it a speed that defense can react to. Second key, keep the ball protected on your left shoulder and chest. If I have the ball exposed out here, it's going to be easily deflected, bothered, it's gonna speed me up. I get the ball protected, I Kobe step, and right as she moves there, I've got my rip back for a shoulder read. Now let's talk about a couple of other higher level reads on this here. Another thing we can do from our Kobe step is we can get into a rocker Kobe step. So Kobe does this really, really well. If he goes to his Kobe step and Barky's playing really good defense, right off of this deal, all he would do is he would just kind of go into a rocker. He would come right instead of back here, he would come right back to his peak fake. If I make a nice aggressive Kobe step and Marquis not only cuts me off, but she sags a little bit on this thing. Kobe step. As I come back into my rocker, I'm raising up the defense, especially if I'm a shooter like Kobe, boom, to get a blow by. So that'll be level two of our Kobe step. Let's just go ahead and show that in maybe a slow motion pace here. I just get Kobe, she backs up, ooh, and then we go right back. Now, level three of our Kobe step, especially if we're a dangerous shooter and we've hit a couple of those rockers on our defender, they're probably gonna press up on us on our Kobe step. So if we go to our Kobe step and she presses, 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 that's when we'd use our Clay Thompson spin. Clay uses this a lot because he's such a good shooter. And as she presses, I just spin, making sure the ball goes down and the foot goes down so I don't travel. That one's gonna look kinda like this playing basketball, boom, she presses, ooh, boom, and I get my spin off of it. That's the Kobe series. Play around with it, play one-on-one, -on -one, experiment with it, and you too can move like Kobe.